my name is Simon de Puri. I'm the chairman of Philips de Puri and Company. You want me to stand up? Uh, after these very high-tech presentations, we come now to a no-tech presentation because I have no screens, no nothing. I am very proud to say that I do have also a video on the YouTube. It's called If I Had a Hammer and uh, I invite you all to watch it on YouTube and that's exactly how I feel now. If I had a hammer with such a distinguished audience, I could conduct the most phenomenal auction of emerging art and that's what we try and do normally and of course now having heard these very distinguished Distinguished, brilliant speakers just a few moments ago. I know everything about the trends in uh, emerging European art. And uh, what we try and do in our company is to show the best emerging artists, not just from Europe, but from all over the world. Because the wonderful thing about the art world and the art market that it has over the last five years become slightly global. And now we don't care anymore who is the best or most interesting emerging European artist. We just care about who are the most interesting emerging artists from anywhere in the world. And we live in a world where you can sit in Australia and you can buy the most interesting American artist. You can sit in uh, Latin America and buy the most interesting Russian artist. And you have an overall view of anything, whoops, very dangerous equipment, <laughs> overall uh, view of anything that is happening at any moment anywhere in the world. And uh, for a young artist, he doesn't depend anymore on knowing the right people in the market, knowing the right galleries, knowing the right auction companies. Uh, you can use all these new technologies. You can use the internet to break, to become known. You can use the streets. You have this amazing uh, uh, street art phenomenon, which started, of course, in the 80s with Basquiat, with Herring and all of that. But now you have really whole careers that are starting in the street and then uh, magnified by the internet. Internet. You have reality TV shows, you have all sorts of ways for artists to get an audience. So but uh, Simon, I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt you, but do you think that buyers should then feel confident by kind of approaching artists on the internet or should they go to galleries, should they go to auction houses? What's the best route? The best determine? route is to see, see and see again. Uh -huh. So you should go to the armory, you should go to the auction houses, you should go to the galleries, you should read magazines, you should browse on the internet. The more you see, the vehicle is totally irrelevant. The more you see, the more you learn, the more what is interesting automatically sticks out. In the same way that to Nick, the potato artist, have automatically stuck out thanks to his amazing long-standing experience. If we see a lot of things, what is good uh, comes out automatically. Now, uh, I will do a little commercial plug uh, as well and have bought some literature uh, what is important, of course, is the primary market because uh, thanks to these brilliant individuals that Rachel has uh, assembled here tonight, you have the primary market. The primary market is the first time, the first exposure a young artist gets, first time he gets an audience. Now, I'm an old guy, so I can only deal with the secondary market. The secondary market is once it's been shown the first time by these brilliant colleagues of mine, then it can possibly, potentially, be sold a second time. If it's good, it can be sold a second time and maybe a few more times as time goes on. So, uh, that's when we speak about now, uh, because we are interested in now. And so, uh, if you come to Philips de Puri, we have an amazing auction taking place this Thursday, this what Saturday. Time? It's what called time? Now, and you have only works done now. So, nothing done before 2001, and nothing done after 2010. And so, you can buy the blue chips of tomorrow, today. So, this is a pretty good opportunity. Now, talking of blue chips, you turn around the catalogue, you have an extraordinary work by Kelly Walker, who happens not to be European, but very, very strong and amazing, and mark my words, in a few years, this is going to be one of the biggest names uh, around the art market. Now, uh, the great thing about art is that all areas, you know, that preoccupy humanity do preoccupy artists in a particular way. That's why we had our first auction recently devoted to music. It's the first auction ever where a DJ was standing next to the auctioneer because while you're not allowed to serve 
alcohol during auction because it would unduly influence the proceedings, you are allowed to play music. And so we played a work by a fantastic, we showed a work, a sold a work by a fantastic European German artist, Johann von Seifer. It was a portrait of Beyonce. And the DJ was playing full blasting sound Beyonce. I tell you, I've never seen such an atmosphere in the auction room. People were bidding frantically and, and ecstatically and applauding and, and shaking everything. And we got a world record prize for Johann von Seifer. And his Beyonce series of works is certainly a great, great thing to work. So now our next theme sale is called Sex. But Isabel, uh, is sex a safe investment, Simon? Uh, sex is a very, very safe investment. Uh, now, it, it got our corporate lawyers very, very, very nervous. And that is why you have this little black sticker there. Uh, it doesn't have our logo, but still, we have a little black sticker that uh, covers up the uh, you know, contentious parts of the catalogue. And I recommend all of you to come to London and attend this extraordinary auction. You have on the back a work by Jack Pearson. And um, there we are. We, now, want, we want to see what's inside. Uh, I, I let that we're, we're to you box. to discover afterwards. Come on, Simon. Come on. <laughs> anyway, so this is it. Um, I feel that we live again in a fantastic period where there's better art than ever being created. And um, there we are. So thank you so, so much. Now we all have to run in different directions. I'm very happy to be here at the box. And thank you, Rachel, for getting us all together.